Well, she tried to hire a hitman to kill her husband. Authorities in Tennessee arresting a woman accused of trying to hire a hitman. This mother of two is in jail, accused of trying to get someone to kill her husband. Brace yourself for a journey of treachery and deceit as we delve into three shocking true stories of women who hired hitmen to end their husband's lives. In our first story, a woman hires a hitman to kill her husband, but unfortunately for her, the hitman she thinks she's hiring is actually an undercover cop. Well, she tried to hire a hitman to kill her husband, but it was an undercover cop and it landed her in prison. In 2013, Julia Murfeld of Michigan approached her coworker, Carlos Ramos, and asked him to do the unthinkable, take $50,000 as payment to murder her husband, Jacob. But for Carlos, who had already spent time behind bars for a weapons charge, the choice was simple. I was never going to do it. I mean, that's just not, you know, me. Um, and I have a daughter, so I don't want to miss out on my daughter's life over doing something stupid. He immediately declined the offer and alerted local police about her malicious plan. I just looked at it like, okay, if she's serious, I have to say something. Knowing that Carlos wouldn't be the last killer, Julia would try to hire. Authorities then used Carlos as a decoy to gather evidence and help stop her before it was too late. Julia quickly became an internet sensation for getting busted for hiring an undercover officer to kill her husband. A Muskegon woman is behind bars tonight after police say she tried to hire a hitman to kill her husband. The video shows her describing the details and reasoning for wanting to kill her husband. You see her smiling as she tells the undercover officer, posing as a hitman, that it is easier to murder him rather than file for divorce. It was easier than, as terrible as it sounds, it was easier than divorcing him. You know, I didn't have to worry about the judgment of my family. I didn't have to worry about breaking his heart, uh, stuff like this. She provides her ideas for how she wants it to be done and the best way to make her look innocent. She sits in the front seat, placing her order for murder as if she was ordering a meal in a fast food drive through So is that how you want me to do it? You want me to shoot him? Unless, unless you can do it painlessly, you know, breaking his neck, that would... Well, you know, I would prefer to use either a knife or a gun. It's quick and easy. Do I know how to said do it. it's painless. Julia claims she wants her husband dead so that she doesn't have to break his heart and can cash in on his $400,000 life insurance policy. She mentions not wanting to stage it as a home invasion because she didn't want to scare her friend that she intends to move in with after the job is complete. I have a girlfriend who wants to move in with me, and I don't want her to be scared to move in with me if she, th if she thinks that we got broken into and then Jake got, you know, because I want her to move in with me because I don't want to live there by myself afterwards. She also wanted the deed done outside so that she wouldn't have to bother with cleaning up a mess. Really whatever's easiest, if you can get him outside, that would be great. You don't want it done in the house, though? Because it, it would be messy in the house. Yeah, <laughs> you can see in the video, Julia hands the fake hitman a hundred dollar deposit and promises to pay the rest once the insurance money has been released. Right. Okay, just so you know, JC, once I leave here today, it's out. Shortly before the final meeting, Julia was officially arrested for soliciting murder. Blinded by love for his wife, Jacob begged the judge for leniency and a lighter sentence on her behalf. He even went as far as calling her a wonderful mother and loving wife. Julia and Jacob were married for four years and had two young kids together. The jury found her guilty and sentenced her to five years in prison. Jacob has since remarried and thankfully, his new wife hasn't made any attempts on his life. Our next story of fatal love involves a woman who fell in love with a man online and then tried to kill his new wife. Authorities in Tennessee arresting a woman accused of trying to hire a hitman to kill the wife of the man she met on the dating website Match.com. Melody Sasser is accused of trying to hire a hitman to kill the new wife of her former hiking buddy that she met on Match.com. Melody and David matched on the online dating site in 2020, where they formed a close bond as hiking partners. They frequently hiked the Great Smoky Mountains together, and David was helping Melody tackle portions of the Appalachian Trail. But only two years later, David informed Melody that he was moving from Tennessee to Alabama with his new fiance, Jennifer. Melody was livid 
and tracked the couple down and drove to their new home hours away to confront them. David insisted that he was going to marry Jennifer. Melody gave the happy couple her best wishes, stating that she, quote, hoped that they both fall off a cliff and die. In the fall of 2020, Jennifer reported someone had gashed the side of her vehicle with the key. Jennifer also began receiving unpleasant phone calls from someone disguising their voice through an electronic device. Melody, the enraged dumpy, then resorted to the dark web where she created an account on a site called Online Killers Market, which offers hitmen for hire type services. Under the name Catry, Melody placed an order for murder and detailed how she wanted the killing to be handled, writing, quote, it needs to seem random or an accident or plant drugs do not want a long investigation. Melody uploaded a photo of Jennifer as the intended victim with the initials J and W, included details about her home, vehicle, and work schedule. Police say Melody used her handy dandy hiking app Strava to track Jennifer and David's movements. She even shared a map of a two mile hike they had recently taken. Melody paid for the dirty deed with Bitcoin over the span of several months, totaling nearly $10 thousand dollars but unfortunately for melody the site she used to hire the hitman was only a decoy on april 27 2023 the department of homeland security was notified of the threats against jennifer investigators offered the newlywed safety and helped to track down who wanted jennifer dead jennifer identified melody as the number one suspect and police quickly made their arrest melody sasser is currently in police custody awaiting trial if convicted of the murder for hire charge, she could face up to 10 years in jail. Our last story comes out of Austin, Texas, when an angry wife drove into what she considered to be a rough neighborhood, going door to door, looking for a hitman for hire. 36-year-old Rena Patel, a married mother of two, drove into a high crime neighborhood of Austin, thinking she would find a willing party to take a $4,000 payment to kill her husband. This mother of two is in jail, accused of trying to get someone to kill her husband. A woman in the neighborhood told police that Patel came to her and said her husband had beaten her and she needed him taken care of. Another witness told police that she asked Patel, wait, do you mean beat him up? And Patel responded, no, permanently taken care of. But after her questioning continued, and they realized she was serious about finding a killer for hire, one woman in the neighborhood called police, alerting them of the matter. When police arrived, Patel told them that she had been shopping and got lost on the way to her friend's house, so she stopped to ask for directions. But not buying her excuses, police brought her in for questioning, and police say she told them that she and her husband have a loving marriage and denied any history of violence. Officers then headed to Patel's house to talk to her husband, Birrell. Husband also told police that he had recently taken out a $2 million life insurance policy, which very likely was the motivation behind her plans to pay for his murder. She was formally charged with criminal solicitation of capital murder. And after her arrest, a protective order was placed on her husband and children, and she was ordered to stay 200 feet away from the family's home and her husband.